A dancer of mass M stands tiptoe on a single foot, which is strenuous. The Achilles tendon perpendicularly pulls on the heel of her foot. How many times the body weight must the force from the Achilles tendon be for her to maintain this extenuating pose? We are neglecting the weight of the foot itself. We'll assume the foot to behave as a rigid bar, that means unable to bend, in contact with the floor at the toes. We have the following forces acting on the foot. The force of the Achilles tendon on the foot, T, perpendicular to the bar. The normal force of the floor, vertical, straight up. And the reaction force of the ankle on the foot, which is there because the foot pushes on the ankle and the ankle pushes back with an equal and opposite force due to Newton's third law. The foot is neither rotating nor translating, so the net torque is equal to zero and the net force is equal to zero. Specifically, the net torque is zero about any point, so we can choose the axis of rotation out of convenience so that one of the torques actually becomes zero. Let's choose the ankle as our axis of rotation because the torque of the reaction force would be zero. With this choice, the only two non-zero torques are the torque of the Achilles tendon and the torque of the normal force. So tau sub t minus tau sub n equals zero. From the provided figure, the distance between the toes and the ankle is 18 centimeters. The distance between the heel and the ankle is seven centimeters. This green vector is the radius for the force of the Achilles tendon. Using the definition of torque, the torque of the Achilles tendon force is T times dHA, and it points out of the page. And this bright red vector is the radius for the normal force. That torque can be written as the perpendicular component of the normal force to the foot, which is n cosine phi, times d sub ta, which can also be thought as n times its lever arm, d sub ta cosine phi. This torque is in the opposite direction, that is, into the page. Let's set the magnitudes of these two torques equal to each other, and it looks like we can symbolically solve for T, the magnitude of the Achilles tendon force, since in this situation the toes of the foot are supporting the entire weight of the person, n must be equal to mg. So substituting n, we get the final answer expressed as a multiple of mg. So, t is equal to mg d sub ta cos and phi over d sub ha which tells us how many times the weight is the magnitude of this force. To generate an actual number, let's assume the angle phi is about 18 degrees. For that value of the angle, we get 2.4 times mg, which is a huge force. By the way, the ballpark will be the same for any value of the angle, even if phi was close to 45 degrees. Final clarification, we didn't ignore the reaction force of the ankle. We simply chose the axis of rotation to be such that the torque produced by that force would be zero. The magnitude of the force, R, is in fact pretty large. Can you find that? Well, here is a big hint. We haven't applied the condition that the net force is zero that is also satisfied in the case of static equilibrium. Or rather, we haven't applied it yet.